everybody, Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. So, in addition to my normal shout out, you see that I am uh, thanking Stacy Snorf for another great gift from my Amazon wish list. It's another great um, mold, which I will be using right after I use the one that Juliet sent me, which will be coming up next. So, today we are going to do a dirty straight pour. I've already got my base coat down because I did a double coat of it. I wanted the first coat to dry so it would stay uh, opaque. Now as you can see I have mixed things to a thinner consistency than I do for my flip cups. It's just a mound. It goes in, makes a mound and disappears immediately. So the idea of a dirty pour is that instead of layering your paints one on top of the other, you put your one color in, your start color, which for me is my base color, and then everything else you add from up high so that it goes way into the bottom and then hopefully comes up with all kinds of cool effects, especially if you're using metallics. And in this way, you get some wonderful cells and puffy cloud-like formations or boulders and uh, without any silicone, which is really fun. I mean, just look how beautiful the paint just looks in the cup right there. That's a painting in itself. So anything you need to know about the products and more are listed in the description below along with my instagram facebook amazon wish list etsy and my email address if you are interested in this or anything else you've seen me create or want some unique piece of your own just shoot me an email and i will get back to you so thank you my subscribers old and new I appreciate all your support. It really, really means a lot to me. And I will be back at the end to look at the final results. Enjoy.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that spin and tilt out. I am really happy how this came out. Look at this dried results close up. I love the gold cells inside the pink and uh, garnet color. And the silver is gorgeous because as you saw, I mixed it with white and just a dab of Payne's gray, which just gave it such a beautiful hue and kept the metallic shining. And then you see there's gold intermixed throughout the whole thing. So I'm real happy with the way this came out. I definitely see, oh, a whole lot of stormy silver clouds floating. And um, I love that I didn't need to use any silicone to get this effect. It is a fun pour to do and easy. You just have to make sure you get your consistency right. So if you enjoyed this video, but you haven't subscribed as yet, I hope that you will. I also do resin art and mixed media. So thank you everyone once again for supporting me. And I'll be back soon with a resin video. Till next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.